Oh, listen, Hal, call the full dialogue rehearsal, will you, Friday, for the full company, Sloppy Diction. The original was in Greek, but this is in English. Now, don't let's keep it a secret, it's in English, will you? And, oh, and I want to catch the matinee tomorrow of Man in the Mousetraps, eh? Can't do, we got a drama lecture at last. Oh, well, never mind, we'll work it out somewhere. Jeffrey. Man in the metropolis, Radio City, in the television age, swizzle sticks and girder. Every woman feather prematurely weather all the men untethered, many of them left men and woman and man and bird and cat and mouse in the metropolis man in midtown man in a market man in a magazine man in a mousetrap walls of glass and granite grow in They rise, towering and flowering, as men and women far below run left and right, and make another right, and then two lefts, and crash against the walls of mortar and mortality, and at the end, as if in reckoning, comes the scent of silk and dollars, beckoning like cheese. consider the place of Nick Hathaway in that firmament. Uh, he stands out as a model of a composer, particularly rare conventionality. Um, you know, it's fascinating to compare him with someone like, um, even someone like John Cage, a towering figure, because the comparison really bears so little scrutiny, I mean, in much the same way that Cage brought chance and randomness to his music. Um, Nick Hathaway brought arbitrariness, formlessness, pointlessness, ennui, indifference to his music. Um, they're very critical features, and he had, for that reason, one says that he has the kind of talent that really one simply couldn't believe. <laughs> 